How do you feel, Chucky? Chucky, Chucky feels electric at the moment. Electric How do you feel, Archer? Uh, feeling good, actually. Excited to get this up and running. So, who are we? We're the curators. We're just a bunch of average blokes. Ragtag. Pretty shit. There's like, a few few more of us, which you'll meet a bit later on. But eventually. we like a punt and we do like sports. So, we have a bit of action for you. This um, weekend, hopefully you can get on board, get a bit of a win going, get a bit of a streak going. So, the wrap around town will cover AFL, NRL, and Super Rugby for our South the friends. Super Rugby. I think Oscar Pistorius is listening. So, Oscar, if you're listening, just... Shout out to Oscar. We're all supporting you. Shout out to Legs. <laughs> Multi-Legs, I mean. <laughs> so, here we go. The AFL. AFL, first game, Demons versus Geelong. Uh, we like the under 156 and a half points. Make sure you get that half a point. Why do we like this? Well, apparently it's going to be pissing down. Pissing down like Melbourne. Todd Carney. Well... Massive. But, uh, uh, and, you know, Melbourne already score about 30 points a game, so with rain, they'll probably cut down to 15. 15 at max. And that means John has to score 135, so that's not going to happen. That's, so I think it's a safe, right. wet weather bet. A safe smart, wet weather bet. Smart, wet weather bet. Next game, West Coast versus Brisbane. We like West Coast at the line of 13.5 at $1.92. So it's negative 13.5, but the West Coast are highly underrated. Prittis. Oh, Prittis. Goldilocks. What do they call them? Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Golden take locks. you to Dean Cox, and then we got Big Nick Nat rounding the pack. Three, three big names and three great players for a great time. Uh, Brisbane doing their best not to win games this season, so we do like West Coast. Next game, Port Richmond. Port Richmond. I heard there was a power outage last weekend. I am a power supporter, but uh, you know. <laughs> power outage. Power outage. Power outage. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Any more? Ah, uh, no, I got nothing. Oh, okay. A bit like the power. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully bounce back after two pretty terrible games. Last week, couldn't kick for, kick for balls, really. You couldn't? Couldn't at all. But uh, against the Richmond team, they have nothing to play for. What about Pride? They lost that like three years ago oh. when they couldn't win back then either. So Nothing's changed. But we do like Port uh, minus 11.5 at $1.92. Uh, last game, the Dons versus the Pies. What do you think? Dons coming off two great wins. The Pies, not so much. The Pies had a shocker last week, and they played about half a team. I think the other half was in the ambulance or the ED department. <laughs> half a team of rookies as well, so that's got to be demoralising. Couldn't Never be helps. a gazeless son. So, you know, Dons at 255 straight. 255. Uh, we do like the peptides here and the pet died should get the win over the pies. Great form once again. So NRL. NRL, the greatest game of all. Jeez, uh, was an origin of farce. But, that was uh, exciting, wasn't it? It was. I terrible. watched about two minutes. Yeah, I watched one minute. Oh, nice. But uh, we do like the Warriors at home. Uh, they've won six out of their last eight, and they're versing Eels. Who's not playing? Haynes not playing. Who is playing? <laughs> Chris Sandow. Uh, big shoes to fill. Mainly because he's three sizes down, and he weighs somewhat of a thousand kilos. But he's playing fullback, so that means more running for the big fella. Um, we do understand he likes a punt as well. He likes his punt and punt. He might be listening right now, actually. Shout out, Chrissy. Hope you play well. Actually, we don't because we're pay- taking the Warriors at eleven. And but a if half. you want to have a punt with us, you know, just back back against. Get yourself. the Wolfman to play someone for you. Uh, last action for you guys is Super Rugby. Lucky last Super Rugby. Last round. Everything to play for, but really nothing. Top 8's decided. Top 8's pretty much decided. Pretty much. Business end. So we do like the Sharks over the Stormers. We do realise the Sharks have had tough times recently, losing the last two, but we'll back them over the Stormers here. Still number one on the ladder in the Still number South one. African Conference. Playing at home. You know? Playing at home, and they'll get a good send-off there. Okay, so... Launch into the finals. Launching. So we have a really special... A treat, I'd call A treat. A treat. One of Australia's greatest sportsmen ever. Not only a political activist, but but an all-round great, great bloke. Way better than us. Way better. So without further ado... I think he's on the line now. Craig Fozzy Foster. Fozzy. Uh, G'day, Craig. G'day, Craig. G'day, guys. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, I actually took some leave off today. I was uh, watching the Barcelona history... um, on the uh, ESPN channel, yeah? Yes. Great, great viewing. Great viewing. Do you Absolutely. like that channel, 
Um, no, because I, I don't believe that the Americans should have uh, right. some, some exactly some sort of rights to uh, any any sport involving um, beauty and um, and passion. Right. They and did do quite well though. No, I don't. I don't believe they did. You they they all imported a bunch of Mexicans and um. Can, can I say that on here? We could it's edit fine, that maybe. Yeah. We'll edit it out. Yeah, edit it out for me because I don't, I don't want to create another Scott Chipperfield on Twitter. So, um. um Anyway, uh, look, I don't agree with the US team and their uh, tactics, so uh, let's not talk about that. Sure, let's leave it there. We'll leave that one there. No worries. Uh, just firing off the first question now. So, um, what are your thoughts on Ange's and the boys' efforts? Is Ange the uh, Socceroos coach? Is he's Ange Foster Cogley. I think it's short for Angela. Angela Foster. Oh, no. When, when did he get that role? Um, before the World Cup. Oh, geez, I, look, um, I'll be honest, I was fo- following Barcelona at the time, so I didn't actually get the chance to see, but, oh, I mean, we know what he's like, and um, I honestly don't think he's um, ready to perform at an international level with the Socceroos. I, I, I'm sorry, I might have applied for the position, but um, that's not important. You applied, did you? Well, I sent in my Google documents, and um, I sent my um, emails and, and things, and... Didn't know you coached soccer, Craig. No, but um, look, it might have been a little bit dodgy because um, I got the email from a, a Socceroos applications lols at hotmail.com and, and I, I, I haven't actually sent anything to that address before, so I'm not too sure how it did how you, it would. Did you, you know, include any important information? Yeah, look, I, um, I talked about my extensive um, recording, so like my Foxtel IQ has all the Barcelona highlights and... I'm quite good at that and uh, managing those things. So, um, yeah, look, um, I sent a few pictures of me and, yeah. yeah. Still waiting to hear back. Yes, yeah, so... Um, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers um, crossed. I have seen a few of the photos and um, leaked online, so I don't know what that's about. So, But anyway, I'm, I'm, it, does, it does seem like a legitimate um, application yeah, and we'll, um, we'll see how it goes. See how that one goes. Sure. Just keeping on with the soccer scene, what, what do you think of Tim Cahill's goal? Oh mate, she's a beaut, isn't he? Yeah. So um, I, I just I cried. Yeah, look. You cried. I cried like um, I've never seen anything like it. Apart from when I scored a similar goal um, and the fourteen A's back in high school, and um, they used to call me the Tim Cahill back then. So um, they called you Tim Cahill. They called me because the, they knew that Tim Cahill was going to be big, so they kind of preemptive preemptive. Full circle. Yeah. Full, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe, yeah. Maybe Tim's. Kind of Tim's the Craig Frost. Yeah. Well, look, I wouldn't go that far. Look, I don't know how many championships uh, Tim has won um, with Blackburn like I have. So uh, how, how many did you win? None. But, no. but I mean, we came closer than Everton ever did. So um, they call them Neverton. <laughs> hey. <laughs> anyway, on on we go. Well, we, without the curators, we were actually listening to your coverage on the old SBS. Oh yeah, yeah. And Cahill scored, and then after they seemed to turn off your mic. Yeah, good old uh, SBS, uh, also known as Sex Before Soccer. And, um, I mean, for bloody hell, look, um, they, they, oh, it's, just, it's a disgrace, isn't it? Like, especially with the government and the lack of funding. Look, I'm putting it down to funding and, and a lack of good mics. I'm not I'm not pointing any fingers here, but... Um, so it wasn't someone just in turn off? No, but no. Um, Les Murray did slash my tyres after the show, so... Uh, Les, Les did that. Go oh, bloody Les, the lunatic. Call him Les the lunatic. <laughs> He's like a great bloke. He's a great bloke, isn't he? Great, Dave. Uh, so who's with you at the moment in the SBS studio? Is anyone, anyone of notable uh, mention? Yeah, someone. Uh, Boz, Bozza, you want to come, come down? No, don't don't take the mic. Oh, hey, who have we got here? Oh, hey, fellas, uh, who am I talking to? We're the curators, Bozza. Oh, the curators. Bloody hell. Look, I'll tell you what, I had some good Mexican curating the other day when I had some bloody tapas and... It was good stuff, mate. Um, you mean tapas? Tapas, mate. Tapas. Any Chinese lately? Oh, look, um, Sir Alex Ferguson doesn't know what he's talking about because I did not place that order of Chinese after training. I did it two hours before training. and It's good planning. Absolutely, and I would never do such a thing, and I don't know what he's on about. So it's a bit of bad blood there, I think. Absolutely. I mean, I'm a professional player. I, um, I, I used to coach the under under-15 women's team, and I did get sacked. But, I mean, I'm, I'm a professional player. I showed up on time. I may have gone to the changing rooms a few times, but that's just to keep the uh, team morale up. Of course. Sure, Absolutely. Keeping morale up. Keeping the morale up. That's what's important. Here. That's exactly. what's important. Absolutely. Okay, great.
Well, thanks for the interview, Bozza. No worries, and um, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get Craig. Craig, do you want to say, fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Craig, Craig's a bit off his head. No, that's, that's fine. We'll, we'll get Craig. We'll get a hold of Craig later. No worries, boys. It's been a pleasure uh, talking to you, and uh, all the best with the show. Thanks. Thanks, mate. <laughs>